Well, I'm out in the shop today and just machining some parts. And I've been trying to, since I got the ATC running, I've been trying to get my tools a little bit more organized. In the last video, we machined this TTS tightening jig. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to machine some more uh, racks so that I can put more tools. Now this one is a piece of 4 inch by 2 inch angle so I can get a double row of tools and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rack off put the 4 inch here and then I'm going to mount the tightening jig right here and I'd like to reproduce this and mount one on this side. Uh, I've got this drawer down here but I've got a lot of empty tool holders that I need tools to put tools in and I just haven't done it I've only been doing it as needed and because I just really didn't have a place to put them so I'm gonna just try to get it organized I'm gonna have these files available in the video description for you to download if you want to machine some of these out you can so let's get started we're just gonna be doing uh, a set of holes here ten holes and then we're gonna just kind of knock off the corners so let's get started.
that. Just one little tool change, and I really didn't have to change the tool. I just did that just to check out the uh, ATC. Try to use it. So we've got our double row. Uh, next setup, we're just going to round these corners off and then drill a couple of holes. All right, so now we're just going to machine the next setup, which is boring a couple of mounting holes, and then we're going to round these corners off. Now, I had to get a little creative with the uh, cam here because, first of all, I have to have long tooling to make sure I clear this, and I also have to make sure that the distance from my holes are far enough down so that nothing touches uh, the bottom here when I'm uh, machining it. So. Uh, I do have a lot sticking out on the end here, so it does give a little bit of a chatter, but there's really nothing I can do about that except for maybe putting some machinist vice out here. Um, but for something like this where it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Alright, so let's get started. So you can see that finishes it up. Uh, so we'll have a, t a double row. And then I'm also going to have a single row. Alright, so let's get this assembled. Alright, just finished up the TTS racks here. I have a 2x4 aluminum angle with two rows of five. And then a single row at the top. So this will give me storage for the 15 tool holders. And then over on the other side, I've got another one. So I've got room for another 15 tool holders. And I've also mounted this TTS tightening jig on here. Now this TTS tightening jig comes in handy. It has a couple of one-way bearings. So I can loosen and tighten both from the same side. Uh, this one's mounted hor uh, vertically, but you can also mount it horizontally. So I've engraved it on the front as well as the top here. Just trying to get all my tool holders cataloged and organized. I've got a lot of empty tool holders and a lot of tools to be put into tool holders. And now with the ATC, I really need to get everything where I can quickly swap out tools as needed. Uh, the drawers was getting crowded here. I had tools on top of each other. And this right here is going to help me move closer to being more organized.
Well, if you've made it this far, you must be one of the few loyal subscribers and viewers of my videos. Guys, I want to I want to say thank you for all your loyal support throughout the years. While I was machining my TTS tool rack, I had a couple of extra pieces of this 2x2 two two angle. So I machined up this 10 tool rack here. And I'm going to do a drawing for those of you who make it to the end of the video. If you're in the continental U.S., I don't want to ship this international because it weighs about 8 pounds. But send me a quick email to cnc for xr 7 at gmail.com and I'll do a drawing and we'll get this sent out to you. Guys, thank you for all your support throughout the years. I look forward to 2021. Uh, I've got some interesting projects I think that are going to be coming up and we're going to continue doing what we do and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, well I guess that'll wrap up this video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in Click on the subscribe button down here below. That way when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.